All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Name of the day is Dugs. You can also call me Nate. You can call me Nathan, but please never call me Nathaniel. And I'm just going to do some random random Covenant 25 gameplay. I'm going to keep it standard. Um, I could do more tournament training, to be, to be honest. I just want to practice in general um, playing through the runs without restarts and trying to think, especially during the tactical side, trying to think more critically about how these runs are going to go and seeing what we need to do to try and improve our consistency. That's really the issue right now. It's all about consistency. So let's jump into the first run and see if we can't play, <laughs> we, see if I can't play a little bit more uh, methodically, intelligently, successfully. We'll see. All right, so starting at the beginning, let's talk about, we have Little Fade plus uh, Umbra with Shade Splitter. Okay. We start with Votaberry, making a Morsels and Hallow Drippings. Hallow Drippings is really good for Firelight builds. It's also decent for um, Little Icarus builds because you can then extend her burnout quite a lot. Making a Morsel could be okay if we end up with a Gorge and then a Death Floor. That could be possible. We could do like a Harvest plus a Death Floor with the Votaberry. A little bit interesting. We have Days Talos, which depending on what we take might not be a big deal. If it's um, Little Icarus could become problematic. If it's like Firelight, it doesn't really matter because we don't, I mean, you just hit Firelight, Little Fade, and we don't care if she gets dazed. Uh, we have Garbage Fell. Um, so we got to think about that. We may want to prep that by taking an extra Ember off of Talos. It really depends on what unit we get. If we get a two cost unit, um, we basically are obligated to take a four ember start unless we get an ember relic. And then with Seraph the Chaste, I mean, you can really go any little fate at that point. Um, I do like little Icarus into Chaste, but as I said, we can kind of go with whatever. Obviously Firelight would be probably the preferred choice here. We have no, we actually have two cards that consume now. Um, over just 40 Pyre Health. I think 40 Pyre Health, especially if we go Firelight, can be really good to just kind of give us a buffer. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna take Firelight. Given the setup we have, I think it makes the most sense. Um, having them do more damage is a bit scary for a unit draft. What are we gonna get upcoming? We're gonna go Remnant plus Merchant of Steel. Yeah, we'll do it. So what do we need to make this work? We need... Uh, probably... I think we let you die here. The question is, do, I don't think we want these Shade Splitters getting... Uh, getting uh, killed. We want to make sure that we're only reforming Little Fade here. Um, one, two, then they both die. Uh, let's go something like this into this. And then we gotta get another reform or we're in trouble. Okay, we're in a bit of trouble. Uh, we can play you to block one of the hits. We actually have to block with something else as well. It's gonna be a second train steward. He'll block two more hits. He'll kill one of them. Play you down here with the shade splitter. And we're gonna take, we're gonna take some pyre damage here. Okay, we do get little fade back. Well, hopefully, hopefully it's little fade. It is not, it is a steward. Um, One, two, we have, we have no way to block enough here. We gotta play you, gotta play you. We kill one of them. And then we put out something like this. Man, 
Just really bad timing on these stewards. They were so late. Uh, we can guarantee... No, we can't guarantee. We have... Okay, we do get Little Fade, though. So we play you. Here. Then you. And then this gives us a little bit more time. We can play you to get more damage, and we're in pretty desperate need of getting Little Fade back again. Or at least something that can block hits pretty well. We have 50% chance, 33% chance. We got, we got her. <laughs> Can't complain about that. And we get the kill. Whoa! Ooh, scary start. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. Um, I'm already thirsty. I'll be right back. I don't know why I'm taking off my glasses. Here, I'll be right back. Hey, typical Moxie. All right, so really glad we took that particular uh, upgrade on the pyre health. <laughs> Pretty important for uh, the run so far. Uh, draft, absolutely, take a draft. Uh, Space Prism. And... It's one of these two. Um, I'm kind of leaning toward Lady of the Reformed. Because I don't think the rage matters. Uh, it's the death of Little Fade that's more important. And we can just get something with more health. Okay, um, we're gonna go left path. I don't know we'll take anything here. Yeah, I'm even not gonna take Big Sludge. It's too fat. And capacity is in short supply. Don't mind getting a third multi-strike on a draft. We'll take that any day of the week. Um, and that's the idea, is to get, you get as many strikes as possible on the same floor. That's the goal. Sweep is a little scary, but... We get one solid hit and we're fine. Once, once, uh, or if we get, like, Intent on Death, then we're fine. I don't think we need a unit draft here, and this is this is scary because a lot of our damage is in that one draft, and if we don't get it early, then we're in trouble. It's not going to take it. It's not worth it. There's no unit draft that's going to be like so good that it's going to change the world for us. Um, I think I'm even going to play top floor. Although, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll play top floor. Top floor, or middle floor. Yeah, top floor. The question is, do we want Little Fade dead now? I think that's okay. Increase capacity, we can get her to be real thick. And if we're lucky, Collector, okay, you know. As it does, um, we can play you here. Just max your burnout and then play you. We need reform, desperately. Thank you. And now they're doing just fine. Cool. Oh, that's awkward. We're gonna take one damage. Um, I mean, we should be able to, yeah, not even should, we're gonna be able to bring back the, uh, um, draft here. And I kinda think we just play it down here with the Votaberry. And Sure, just get some damage in. Then we can bring it back again. And I mean, we were already killing, but now it's even more secure. So we have no backline damage. This is the only problem right now. Let's look at uh, dupe opportunities. We can dupe immediately. 
I would rather dupe the draft we have than pay for a new one. So I'm just going to skip, take the money. This is backline damage. I think we take it. And then we can scrub out a lot of the garbage in the deck. Take some Pyre Health, dupe our draft, and... No, no, no. Yeah, I don't take any of this. We're already going to have Ember um, problems. And I'm almost get, I, it's almost guaranteed we're going to take Ember. Um, because of the fact that if we draw a Lady of the Reformed and a Draft in the same turn, then we could not play um, one of them, and that's not that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna play you guys here. Uh, I don't really care if this guy dies. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Apparently, I'm talking too loudly. Forgot to close the door. My bad. Um, let me think. We could put Votaberry in here, and then fit the two drafts behind. That's not terrible. Play you guys up here to get the kills, and I'll hold this uh, Hello Drippings till late. Well, no, we play one now. It, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We just need to be able to play one on the drafts, and then we're good. Okay, welcome back. Ah, that's right. Days. Um... If we play two Morsels, they also get buffed. Two, five... Now she's hitting. The problem is now we have a Morsel in the death pile. Um, how do we deal with that? Let's see... We could pop one of them. So we're going to play you down here. We're going to play you. You block three hits. You kill three of them. That's very good. Uh, we can block a hit with a morsel. So that we can bop one of them. And get a making or a morsel miner here. Okay. Obviously not ideal, but it's not terrible how that worked out. Honestly, the biggest problem is just that uh, we're not getting little fade back consistently. Oh man, we gotta get rid of so much garbage. Good thing our pyre health isn't a problem. Um... Let me put the draft here. Okay. Play you there, get you down so you only do two damage. And then here's hoping. That actually gets the kill. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, Sacrificial Resurrection is pretty good. Honestly, we need to get rid of like all of our Shade Splitters and all that kind of stuff. We, I think we're gonna skip this. We don't need to take any of this. Don't take any of this in here. Don't take anything here. We take an Ember. And then we just gotta trim. Trim so much of the deck. Uh, we have so much trash. Yeah, sorry, Overgorger, you're not uh, relevant in this run. Starting with the Train Stewards, and then we want Burnout, if we can get it. Uh, we'll take extra health on the Lady of the Reformed. Generics, no, I want Burnout. I really just want Burnout. Um, I can give you generic stats. I don't even need Multi-Strike on her. We'll hold off to try to get Burnout on these two, and I'm going to yeet another Steward. It's pretty early for me. Normally I don't pay to yeet so early, but since we have to uh, take an early 
Ember Relic to deal with Fel and Seraph. I feel like we kind of have to do it this way. Um, this is very scary to me, but I th think if we play on the top floor and we're patient, I think we can get the damage that we need. Sure. We just need to get one draft. Um, you are when we play spells. We're not going to kill anything anyway. I kind of feel like, does it even matter? Like, I don't really want to have Votaveri come back. So a draft now isn't going to make a huge difference. This is uh, kind of a problem. Um, I mean, we hit you for as much as we can. There's one, which will be very helpful for next turn, that should be close to enough to kill the next unit, next guy. So you're going to have three hits, 15 plus 9, 24. We're going to take 24 damage. Okay. I mean, not really much we can do about it. We can get more stats out. I'm not going to use Hello Drippings because of the uh, spell incant. It would just make him stronger. So we'll just wait. So we need Little Fade back. We need to get the other draft out as soon as possible. And we can do both. That's really strong. Okay. Uh, little Fade will die, giving us enough damage to kill both. That's fantastic. The only issue now is that uh, the Revenge Trigger is not going off. But we do get some... Yeah, we just got to make sure we're not going to damage shield. Um, or that little fade just keeps coming back. Okay, I think we're in good shape now. Uh, let's just give little fade more stats. And keep it rolling like this. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think we should be okay. Uh, we'll still put you up front. I mean, I thought about potentially putting Little Fade in the back, but I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Very solid, very solid. Apart from the early damage, this is going really well. So it's a really good thing we have a lot of Pyre health right now. Uh, we just can't, need to keep thinning the deck. That's the, that's the key. The faster we get to the drafts, the faster we win. Um, I don't need Sacred Wicks. Cannibalize is kind of interesting because you can cannibalize um, Little Fade and then replay her. The problem is we have nothing to do with the um, Morsels. I could go for more unit upgrades, but I actually still think just it's it's yeeting, yeeting more uh, stuff. I don't really want this. Uh... Let's start getting rid of making a morsels as well. And I'm gonna re-roll for double incants. Okay, we don't get it. Resin block's pretty good though. Or first help. Well, first help pack's not going to be that great, but resin block is pretty good. Or mask of penumbra. Mask of penumbra might be better for the draw, as a replacement for our current lack of draw. And this should be fine. Basically, we're going to kill them or not. Uh, although it's the first one that's always the toughest. Uh, but this is okay. Hopefully, we get a draft within the first couple of turns. Hopefully, uh, I was gonna say, hopefully that uh, little fade. Okay, we got a draft. And we can keep it alive. Fantastic stuff. And he's not gonna die. All good things. Okay. Um, little fade is going to die. That's what we need. Um, hmm. Well, we're not going to play him. <laughs> now we need Little Fade back. 
And we need the other giraffe. There we go. Boom. Boom. And now we should have plenty of damage to deal with basically everything. Bop you. Okay. So we took that one early hit, but now we're in a really good position. We can put these down here. Um, sure, get really thick, why not? Okay. Little Fade should now... Oh, Little Fade's actually not gonna die. And that's a, that's a real problem. We have to actually not play Hello Drippings. She has, she has to die. Oh my gosh. Uh, in fact, I'm a little bit nervous that even with... Uh... Okay, she's gonna die from Burnout. Do we get enough stats onto Lady the Reformed that we're okay here? A little scary. Uh... Okay, we can bring back Little Fade. And it's, it's way close. It's super, super close. If we toss in a Shade Splitter, also doesn't do anything, play that. Okay, uh, and we, we're, we're killing. We can't complain. Oh, wow. The good thing is, is that the, uh, the later, um, the later chase is not going to be such a problem. And actually, we can't take Chain of Gems. So the reason why is that Chain of Gems will make Little Fade not die, and it will also make Lady of the Reform not get revenge triggers. So we have to not take it. It's too dangerous. Uh, skip here. And... Skip here. Excavation Eruption is good, but I just don't think... I don't think it's what we want. Remove and dupe. Um, let's get rid of Votaberry and making a morsel and get another draft. Now we're we're in a much better shape to get them earlier. This is the biggest problem is just getting the drafts quickly enough. Uh, for example. I feel like we have to play on the bottom. We're obligated to. Uh, luckily we have a lot of pyre health again. And uh, as long as we get the uh, drafts relatively early, like here, that was pretty good. We should be okay. I'm not gonna play the Shade Splitter because I want to make sure that uh, um, we don't accidentally draw a draft. And now, after this one is dead, we should be in okay shape. So we're gonna take 10 damage. But that's the last of the garbage coming out. We can play all of our drafts now. We can play Little Fate again. Uh, she won't be dying, but uh, we're killing everything. Okay, we're gonna take nine more damage unless we get Mind Collapse. We got Mind Collapse, fantastic. Uh, play this, Mind Collapse. Play this, and burn out. Now we're good for the rest of the fight. Fantastic. We got there. Mm -hmm. Really glad we took the Ember Relic. This is me thinking ahead a little bit more than I normally do. And, uh, excellent. Okay. Whew. No intent on death, and I'm not going to take Sacrifice or Resurrection. Um, also not going to take Bounty Stalker. We will take... I think it's Draw. Yep. Yeah. And now, um, removal would just be getting rid of Shade Splitters. 
I think instead I'm gonna go unit upgrades here and some pyre health and try to get burnout onto the drafts. Um, put generic stats on one draft. I, I mean, we can put extra multi strike. Yeah, that's fine on one of them. And I don't know that we need any other up upgrades, honestly. So uh, if the trial is spikes or anything of the similar, we don't take it. Um, even armor, I don't think we take. We are not uh, desperate for money. So we just go with what is the most reliable here. We, are, we would do 40 plus 120, 160 damage. It's not enough. So we'll play top. We can play uh, Hello Drippings to keep them around and bop you. Okay. We take our time. There's no rush. Uh, you're not burning out because you're the uh, the good draft. Um, there's a potential this draws the other draft and then we get sad. But it didn't happen, so we're happy. <laughs> Should not have risked it there. That was a little bit of a bad play. Uh, there is a really there's 50% chance that if we play a draft, we or play a magma morsel, we get the draft. Okay, well, it was a 50% chance. It wasn't a 100% chance. We'll just do this. Cool. We're going to take 30 damage. Or 10 damage, sorry. But now, assuming that we can reform a little fade and not that uh, pesky morsel, we're good. Excellent. We have all the damage we need now. Okay. Huh? We actually might lose. Uh, oh wait, now we don't. Uh, get blasted. Cool. As long as we can pick off the backliner, we don't have to worry about uh, Lady the Reformed accidentally dying. It helps a bit, but I think we have enough health on the backliners anyway, and they're doing so much freaking damage. They're doing 115 by three. So that's 115. Uh, not to mention that we can bring back Little Fate again. And I... I... I mean, we might as well play her down here. And then we get Mind Collapse. We can play her again. It's actually kind of close already, but then when we put Little Fade and kill the Backliner, then it's not even close. Get wrecked. All right. Engulfed in smoke or mortal entrapment? Um, engulfed in smoke is kind of interesting. But I also just want the money. I want to try to get... I'll take whatever side has coins. I want to try to get uh, a relic. Do we want dupe over removal though? Hey, Sanguine Penguin! Thank you for uh, the tier one subscription. Why didn't that up our? Uh... Why didn't that up our counter here? Oh, because it was a uh, renewal of the subscription. Man, I don't know the ins and outs of how this all is working. Well, thank you for the two months. And uh, also, good luck to you, man. Um, let me think. 75 coins would put us up to 260. I don't remember how much uh, the Double Extinguished Trigger Relic costs. If it is more than 260, we get sad and wish we would have gone to the right path. 
Um, dupe can mean that we could put a morsel on the floor. We could just dupe the uh, space prism to fit a morsel. And honestly, spell upgrades is going to be better anyway. What are, what are we going to remove? Shade splitters? Like, I feel like... I feel like it's fine. We're going to go left path. Pray for double extinguish triggers. We didn't get them. Uh, is hammer chest plates good? I don't think so. R.S. Jackson. Thank you for the gifted sub. And that landed on Peanut Jack. Who, uh, Peanut Jack, you're also planning to play tomorrow, right? Congratulations on your tier one subscription. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping at least we, uh, don't do any, uh, or don't get killed in the, uh, ring five fight like I tend to keep doing in all these tournaments in the finals. All right. What are we going to do here? Yeah, I mean, next time, man. See if you can make it work. It, it, the timing's always tough. It's never going to work for everybody, certainly. Um, what to dupe here? I think it is just Space Prism. And next time's going to be uh, the... Uh, the first Divinity one, which will be very interesting. I do like getting plus 10 on the Mind Collapse. Um, do we need any free spells at all? I feel like they don't, we don't need any free spells. I think removal is just better. We can yeet two Shade Splitters, or maybe one Shade Splitter and one Reform. I think this is fine. It's just all about getting two R spells faster. I, I guess, yeah, make a Mind Collapse minus one. It does 13 damage instead for zero. All right, here we go. So Ember Drain's gonna be a little bit of a thing. Uh, not to mention the uh, Dark Wing is gonna be kind of annoying. We can go for a bottom floor setup. Um, you would instantly get 100, you'd have 140 damage, I believe, is the count here. So these guys would be living. And you would take a ton of damage. You would take 45. I actually, we, we would barely kill the Darkwing. Yeah, we would just, we would just kill the Darkwing. These three would live. Um... Let's go second floor. There's no reason to rush. If we can get literally one more draft, uh, then we're totally fine. We should be able to reform. Like, we're, we'll probably get a reform next turn. I'm going to play you up here. Okay. We didn't get a draft. That's good. Okay, so now... Bring back our buddy. He's killing two of them now. And we can kill two more with Shade Splitters. Let's start with just one first. We got a draft. We can kill two. We can kill everybody. Okay. Uh, I mean, we want to get rid of this anyway. So we, we will expect that uh, our Lady of the Reformed, she's going to die at least once that will happen it's inevitable and so i'm wondering like let's just let it let it happen here pop this guy ahead of time give us more space and just get rid of the card yeah okay so we need two reforms we got both fantastic stuff we can only play one of them luckily it is little fade uh, now we need both, and we need to not get Ember Drained immediately. Fantastic. Uh, so, Little Fade into Lady of the Reformed. And 
And again, we bop you. And sure, this is fine. Cool. And the fact that we can fit the morsel in here is uh, pretty important. Okay, we're killing everything. We can't play Little Fade yet, but we can play her next turn. Um, the nice thing is, is that like in the crazy event that uh, we lose everybody, it's still not the end of the world because we can play on the top floor with a couple of the units and try to get a kill there. But, I mean, we're doing so much freaking damage. Okay, we can bop you. Probably you? Would have loved if you were actually dying here, but, you know. I think we're okay, though. We're doing... Oh, we're already killing. Okay. That works. Oh, dog. So, pretty quick victory. Second floor kill. Uh, yeah, taking that early relic became very critical to the run. And that's a, that's a little fade run where you don't really get the nuts, right? We got no intent on death. We didn't get a... Uh, we didn't get double extinguish triggers. We actually didn't really get very good relics at all. Um, other than the Pyre Health, which ended up saving us early game. We did get a lot of drafts. That's quite good with this build. But yeah, I mean, considering the setup, I feel like that went really well. Let's jump into a second run. Alright, what do we got? We got, um... Rector Flicker with Imps. Diligent. We have Knockback, Talos. And we have Armor Fell. Okay. So, I mean, it definitely seems like an, an accumulator setup. But we have a Reform and two Purifying Cleanses. So, the alternate would be Burn Bright. My gosh, this is like everything set up for an accumulator build. We just got to get actually accumulator. We didn't get it. We'll take Burn Bright. And I will pivot into accumulator if we have the chance. But uh, we need a harvest unit. The nice thing is that Burn Bright does a lot of damage. Okay, so what I like to do here... Look, we just do something like this. Pretty good. Heal you, keep you around. And we can play a second one. We're not going to ascend anything, I don't think. You'd only do five damage, so I think we'd just better to do it like this. It'd be great if we had a blocker here. Oh, this is even better. It's a blocker that uh, also enables us to do more damage. We're gonna put uh, a couple of drags up top, put a train steward in the back, and we want the heal. The heal is the right answer here, thank you. And we didn't need it anyway. Okay, good. So very easy first fight. Uh, we didn't get so many coins from unit deaths, but we got a handful. Um... Whew, uh... I feel like we have enough burnout extension. Dripfall's kind of interesting. Because we could overstack a floor. Entombed Explosive is okay. But I feel like Burst is not going to be our problem. It's going to be backline damage. I'm going to take Dripfall. I feel like it's going to be more useful. AoE with Molting Imp is also pretty good. It's the only AoE possibility so far. Yeah, we'll try. We'll take that. And Wickless Baron, fantastic. Okay, so we can kind of do a an accumulator-ish setup here. Yeah, I'm not gonna take any either either of these. We just want a really good uh, Wickless Baron. Um. 
gonna re-roll for multi. Endless. We could put Endless on this uh, Molting Imp. I think that's pretty good. Just to kill Backliners the whole time. The only Backliner it's not gonna kill is the Seraph the Diligent Backliner. But apart from that, it's gonna be really good. And, and it blocks for little, or it blocks for uh, Rector Flicker. So this is already looking just fine. And I think we just block to let it die. Yep, play you up here. Cool. Easy. Uh, we're gonna go you. You. And then play both of you. Fantastic. Really, really, really good. Okay, we need more things to die. Um, oh man, I don't really want to play the Molting Imp, but we will. So here's what we can do. We can ascend this guy because uh, it also gets a kill onto the Train Steward, which means we get an extra coin. Excellent. Um, Molten Encasement's pretty good. It's another very solid endless unit. Uh, what does our what does our pathing look like? I think we go Herzl's Horde and the Hellhorn Banner, and then Unstable Vortex Merchant of Steel. With another remnant banner, so I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take multi encasement with the chance that we can get endless on it later. Vent is also a way to do AOE, and that's really like what we need. We have a lot of bursts, we just don't have very good AOE. Uh, we also have pretty decent tankiness. Um, this is this is good specifically if we can get burnout onto our endless units. Copy a card five times. Do we just get five Molten Encasements and just call it a day? Or do we get five Purifying Cleanses? Five Sacred Wicks? Don't love that. I kind of don't mind the five Molten Encasements. The only issue is that Purifying Cleanse then is not... Maybe we take the five Purifying Cleanses. They are pretty good. Five barons. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna copy uh, purifying cleanse one time. Also, dapper piglet. I don't think I've seen you're. Yeah, I don't think I've seen you in the uh, on the stream before. Have I? If not, welcome, and if I have, and uh, I've not seen your name before, I apologize. You usually just lurk? Okay. Well, welcome to the stream from uh, apparently a while ago. Sorry I've missed you before, but uh, glad to have you here. Uh, you're going to knock back. If you're going to knock back, we want the Baron in the front to tank the first hit. So we go like this. This and this. Mm -hmm. We're killing everything. You can't really ask for more. Let's just bop you for as much damage as we can do. Put a drag up here. Very solid. Get a lot of coins out of this too. Okay, we need one of those purifying cleanses or two, you know, as one does. Get stealth rolling. Uh, would love it if you were actually... Uh, Dying, though. This is what I mean by the uh, armor sometimes is not so great. Uh, boh. Play you here. Play you here. And play you guys up top. Okay. So a lot of things are dying here. That's pretty good. I also don't mind um, 
drip falling here. We can also, we can Sacred Wicks and then drip fall. But who, who do we drip fall? Drip fall this guy and then play you. Um, you're gonna get two killed here. Play you, bop you, and I guess just play this down here. But I think that was about the best uh, setup we could have asked for. And we're getting the kill. Like, really can't ask for more than that. Would love if something else died. If I uh, ascend, then... Uh, yeah, if I ascend, then this guy dies. Perfect. Cool. Got a lot of coins, got a lot of kills. And got uh, bottom floor ultimate kill. Ooh. I don't mind Bounty Stalker. This is a good Bounty Stalker build. Where am I from originally? I am from the US. I am from the state of Utah is where I was born. But I've lived in Minnesota, I've lived in Oregon. Spent a lot of time in Massachusetts and California, but uh, yeah, most of my pre-Germany life was spent in Utah. Um, do like extra capacity. I think we do capacity now, and then we do draw second. Um, we don't need spell upgrades. We just need more unit improvements. Ha, <laughs> no. Good try. So now we have another unit that we want to... Uh, Endless. Why the move to Germany? For work. Yeah, basically. Just work. They asked me if I would be willing to relocate, and I said I would. So, here I am. Nothing so crazy. I kind of like the Rage. It gives him an extra 14 damage to start with before he has a chance to uh, get the Harvest, and then he'll kind of like remove it over time like he'll he'll make up every time there's a kill he'll make up more than the rage is losing alternatively we just go for an extra big upgrade we're gonna eat out some stewards and i think i did say i would take accumulator but i actually feel like the burst is very important and we have a lot of healing here with the purifying cleanses. So I feel like it's not actually necessary. Um, Rerolling would put us to 155. But Endless is so important right now. Uh, I'm gonna get Burnout onto the tomb. And you know what, let's just do a flat 10 damage. We're not gonna large stone anything. All right, so Baron is not, or uh, not Baron. The uh, Bounty Stalker is not going to grow too much right now. I think this is okay. I think we heal enough that we can handle 16 damage per turn. We're going to guaranteed kill the front unit. And then we're going to guaranteed kill the back unit. You can't really ask for more than that. Uh, play you here. And just reduce the damage a bit. Okay. If I put you up front, you're going to get an extra three, six. Although, we could just put a drag in the back and then kill the backliner. I think that's probably better. Get you guys up here. Okay, we need a heal. We got a heal. Good stuff. 
Um, you're gonna die from this guy. And we need to get as much damage on you as possible. Okay. Stealth. Uh, what is going to be reformed? A drag? Mm, I don't think we want to play it yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now we're in really good shape. Play you here as well. Play you here. The only issue is that uh, Bounty Stalker is not dying. <laughs> Uh, what if I... I can't even get this guy to have enough damage to kill Bounty Stalker. Well, so be it. I needed to put Burnout onto him. Cool. We need to find a way to kill Bounty Stalker and then bring him back. Remnant Host is also very, very good. As a way to get more triggers, we don't need any of this. <sighs> we could remove Consume from the... Uh... Or is it Holdover? I think it's... Having one Purifying Cleanse over and over again, it's pretty good. Um, let's make Dripfall free. I don't mind if the other Purifying Cleanses consume themselves. I do like a plus 10 on Event. I don't really want the double stack. Uh, minus one on Hidden Passage. I don't know what we're gonna do with all these um, things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the Calcify numbers are going to be really strong against uh, Seraph the Diligent as ways to get rid of um, consume cards. The problem is, like... Oh, this is going to be awkward. I'm going to take it. I think we're okay, but... We'd have to get a lot of kills to make um, Harvest Baron deal more damage. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to let you... Uh, get killed immediately. We're gonna play you here. Go bop. Uh, play you down here. Play you as well. And then vent the top floor. Okay, then we're gonna get our uh, Wickless Baron. Gonna bop. And drip fall. And we're good. Cool. Alright, we need a cleanse. We did not get one. Um, that's a little bit of a problem. It's not a massive problem, but it is a little bit of a problem. What if we send this guy up? Here's what I'm thinking. We play, we send this guy up. We put you in the middle. And we get a little bit of damage out. Unfortunately, we don't kill the collector because I can't count properly. Um, well, now we have it. <laughs> I mean, we might be able to pull it off because this Wickless Baron is so big anyway. Uh, block this, play you. And keep this guy around for a while. Okay. Play you. Play you. Keep you around until the fight. Also do this. Okay. So the whole purpose is to get as much between... 
the boss and this guy as possible. Because we got to get through a lot of HP here. Uh, we're going to play this. And we're going to make you last for a while. And it's just, it's going to be very scary. We're going to get... Uh, we need to get more units. Rector Flicker! What the heck? Where did you come from? <laughs> Look at all these dead units! And somehow we got Rector Flicker! <laughs> Alright, I mean, game's gonna do what it's gonna do, I guess. Um, the alternative was to put dregs in front, but... I, that worked! <laughs> And luckily we got enough harvest triggers onto the Baron that he was able to solo, more or less solo the boss. Um, Engulfed in Smoke is the most interesting. Yeah, so far not uh, not unlucky. We're doing okay. Yeah, I think it's Engulfed in Smoke and we try to make it free. Imp in a Box is also very good. And it is going to be... We gotta go for more unit upgrades. As much as I want the removal here, we do get to remove and get more unit upgrades now. We need Endless. We need Endless on two units. We need it on the Stealth. We need it on the Baron. And, or on the uh, Bounty Stalker. Endless, please. Oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna pay to remove Stewards. And we'll probably start removing imps after that. Man, actually, I don't even think we do it on the stealth. We might do it on the uh, remnant host because of the in or the uh, all the the benefits of uh, getting the extra harvest triggers from the drafts. Um, we play this. Play you here. You are giving them armor. I'm gonna play you at the bottom. That doesn't really matter, you die from burnout anyway. Uh, I mean, I guess we make them do something up there while we wait. Now we get the Baron and we get the Molten Encasement. We can put a drag out here as well. All good stuff. Uh, blast. And vent up here. I don't want to kill this guy. I want him to die from uh, the Baron here. That's another time that uh, we didn't draw one of our three purifying cleanses. Well, okay. We're going to have to try to do it a different way then. I do want a unit to die. Uh, play you up front. Okay. Play you here. Uh, we can also bring one of these guys up now. Because he's going to die immediately anyway. I'm not 100% certain that we can kill everything once the... Uh, once our, our, our dude is gone. Okay, so we're going to play Remnant Host into Molten Encasement into an Impling and we can engulfed in smoke but then it just yeah it doesn't really make any sense no we're gonna play it like this and give you burnout for no reason at all, and go and smoke you. <laughs> I don't know what those guys are going to do up there, but... Uh, helping in any particularly good way is not going to be one of those things that they do. <laughs> uh, this is where things get a little scary. What do we have left for units? We have the Endless Imp, who will be very helpful. Um...
I guess I drip fall one of these guys. I don't I don't know. I don't know what we do. I think we drip fall this one because it's gonna die from burnout anyway. We don't really care about the damage. We can put a drag in the back to do a tiny bit of damage to this guy. And play you. Play you. I'm a little nervous. A little bit nervous. We can block the hit. And then we're doing 10, so we'll take 24 damage from him. Well, I don't know if we have enough to kill uh, Fell with just our buddy here. Play you in the back. Yeah, it's a little scary. It's a little bit scary. Uh, we're gonna stealth. We can kill this guy, amazingly enough. Uh... Should have thought about playing these guys first, but it's fine. They can block a couple hits. How are we doing? What if we drip fall you? That surprisingly doesn't actually change anything. What if we then purify and cleanse? Gets us pretty dang close. But what are we even going to get that's going to do anything? Nothing. I think we spoke too soon, guys. I think we were very never lucky here. Wow. It's not good. We'll have to restart. I don't know what we do there. Uh, I guess we don't play any of the imps up top. We play them all with uh, Rector Flicker. The fact that we've not been getting our... Uh, Purifying cleanses has just been really tragic. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna not count the run. I'm gonna be uh, yeeting the run later for exactly that reason because it is we we are we do have a no restart policy here. I'm not gonna play this imp. And, uh, yeah, we just need more things to feed, I guess, because we're not going to get... Um... Can put you here. Can put you here. And then we wait to play the Molten Encasement. Got to bring up one of them. Although now it's not actually dying. This is the problem. Now... Sacred Wicks could bring back Rector Flicker, though. Okay! That was the difference, actually. It was making sure that we could actually get Rector Flicker. Uh, wow. Okay. And suddenly there's a path forward. Uh, we'll play this. Give you all the time you need. We can... Um, should not have done that. Although we can do this. And at least hit you for 14. And now we're fine. Uh, kind of. Just give you all the burnout. We're doing a lot better though. Like that's the I guess that's the important thing, is that we are killing more things than we were before. Um I don't know if this is better to play or not. We will be able to play it again next turn. That's probably worth it. Okay. I think we might even play it on the top. 
rather than the bottom here to prevent damage. And then this is all fine. We can play an imp to block the hit. Just keep this guy rolling, play you up top. Okay. This is all fine. And I think now we're good. We have a huge tank in front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can block another drag and... Oh. Yeah, it was just uh, playing all those other garbage just made it so we had so many freaking units in our pool that uh, we couldn't get Rector Flicker reliably. Dark Deal is very good. We take that. Dark Deal adds uh, a lot of damage to our Baron. Now we have to take draw. We saw how bad our draw is. Um, oh yeah, we get all of our uh, Embers now converted. That's also very good for our draw. So that, that was a really solid upgrade. We're gonna go right path here. We're gonna try to go for another Endless. Let's uh, check this out first. No Endless at all. Um, I mean, okay, we need a reform then. We have to get a reform or this guy's, we just eat him. Like, if we don't get a reform in the next uh, ring, we just cut him from the deck. Get rid of Implings, they are not so good. Oh, uh, Implings better than Dregs? No, because Dregs can be played and then they just kill themselves. Also, we're out of music. Let me uh, turn on this one. All right. Uh, we don't do damage from spells, so this is an easy auto pick trial. We need time. The problem is, is that time means we get garbage, but. That is going to be our life. Um, do we actually want to play... I don't think we want to play the dregs there. I think we want to play them up here. Stealth. Now we're killing almost everything. What we can do is play... We drip fall you. There's no way to kill this guy. Uh, I don't think. Three. The dregs are gonna, the drafts are gonna do um, 40 damage. Yeah, this actually kills the uh, collector. Wow, crazy. Okay, that works. We put you here to do some damage. And... We need a uh, Burnout Extender now. We got one. Holy cow. Bring back Bounty Stalker, please. Nope. <laughs> um, we can bring this guy up. I think that's the play. We, we uh, move them up. Then... Dreg in the back? How close are we to actually getting enough damage here? I'm just wondering if it makes sense to play the one of these dregs instead. Oh yeah, it, it definitely makes sense to just play a drag there. I don't know what I was thinking was going to be better about doing that differently. Um, cool, play these guys up top. Okay. Uh, another AoE. Kills the backliner, gets a little bit more damage. And we can just dump a bunch of drags up here in preparation to hit you for a lot. And hit you for a little bit. I mean, we can play this, but it's like, does it matter? I guess it would give, no, it doesn't even give any more damage. Maybe we just let it, let it go. 
Um, 32 damage. 5 damage would make a difference here. I also think we uh, move this guy out of the way again. We kill everything. Play you. Dark Deal is very good. Uh, this, so if we play this here, it prevents a hit. I think that's okay. It dies. We get to Purifying Cleanse. And we can play this down here. Okay. Then we get our AoE guy again. But I think we're... If we Drip Fall... We're just killing both. That's fantastic. We can play this. Transcend Imp. It, whoa, actually, whoa. Uh, he was at uh, 32 health at the end. He was 64, he was taking 32 by hitting him for, f oh wait, no, just kidding. <laughs> you're right, it didn't prevent a hit. Pyre does 40, you're right. My brain is not, uh, it's, I, mean, I don't have a headache today. It's, I'm feeling a lot better, but um, still not functioning at 100%, it looks like. <laughs> Let's do this. And uh, just give you more burnout. It gets a lot of distance between uh, the Reckless Baron and all the other stats. We can actually do this as well to get stealth. Kind of a tricky way to get stealth on our units. And all good. Stealth again. We take no damage. Cool. Um, I'll take a second Sacred Wix. Also take Alloy of the Ancients. We really need Endless. Like, Endless is really, really valuable. Another Multi-Strike. We don't need it. <sighs> endless Relic? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh man, um, what do we want to dupe here? I really like duping Dark Deal. We can remove, uh, let's remove, I think it's Dregs. That's hilarious. All right, I mean, that's cool. I could have also gone, actually I should have, I should have gone for uh, double extinguish triggers. But uh, I was just so happy. So we're gonna go you here. Oh wait, we gotta play in the right order. Bounty Stalker has endless. Play you. Um, ascend. No, play this. Ascend you. Because we don't take any garbage. And we don't play this in. Okay. Then. We do it again. Well, let's see what we get out of the Imp in a Box first. Um, rage is so appealing. Rage is so appealing to be able to just play over and over again. I'm going to do that. Play this. And we're going to do damage... We're gonna drip fall this guy. So the idea is, the idea is we're gonna try to get him, okay. We have two dead units. We have Bounty Stalker, we're gonna have Rector Flicker. So that's what we have to bring back with one of our Sacred Wicks. We play Remnant Host. Having Endless on Remnant Host is very, very good. We'll give you armor. We'll bop this guy. 
Uh, we'll play the Rage Imp. In the... In the this spot. And then we'll vent down here to get rid of the garbage. We don't play the drag. Okay. We can bring back the Remnant Host. Sacred Wix! It's so good! Alright, uh, get in there. You start being endless again. Sacred Wix. Remnant Host. Purifying Cleanse. And... I mean, I guess we played this Imp. To get more damage onto this guy. And now I think we're good. We could stealth here. I guess we could stealth here. This seems okay. We want to be able to bring back the Remit Host again. The idea would be to alternate between the Remnant Host and the Bounty Stalker. Now the Bounty Stalker has two... Um, that now that it has two Burnout, we there's a possibility that we can do it that way. But we'll see. Play you. Dark deal. Uh, play this. Plays this. Get you here. Um, I don't believe we can kill this guy straight up. So I think we just don't try. Yeah, we don't. We don't play anything here. Okay. So now we have the problem that both come back. What do we prioritize? I mean, I think the Bounty Stalker is so good. And I think we're at the point now where Remnant Host is um, losing its necessity in the build. We already have tons of stacks. We already are going to have a really thick... Um, Rector Flicker. Let's put you in the front. You block all the hits. We do take a, a garbage as a result. Just keep Rector Flicker going. And... Play you here. Okay. Question is, are we going to have enough to complete the run? So amazingly, this kills both of them. Also, so does uh, Vent. I think we just play it here. But let's get a second Endless Unit to play next turn. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do you here, Endless. You here, blocking the hits. Uh, we do not have... Did we get rid of the Purifying Cleanse? We got rid of both of them. We can't get rid of this Purifying Cleanse. We're going to vent on the bottom. After we play Self Mutilation. Vent. Uh, drag. Gotta give you more burnout. Drag here. For 9 damage, I don't know. I think our uh, I think our Baron's strong enough. I hope our Baron's strong enough. The ideal would be that we could uh, let's see, Bounty Stalker will kill the front unit and maybe hit Seraph once. 120, 127 by two plus 160. It's it's a little sketch to be honest. Oh, you know what we do? We play Molten Encasement so that we get stealth. Also play this, also play this, also kill this guy. Okay, I think with stealth we're good. Like, like this is how close it gets, right? It's not, it's not a given, but now with stealth I think we're absolutely fine. Whew. However, we had to restart. So we have to abandon. Uh, we'll do one more run. Maybe, maybe two more. Uh, we'll do one more for sure. Maybe a second one.
Interesting. Okay, so we have a cleanse with void binding and prime prismal dust. Thank you for that. I mean, if we get uh, holdover and minus one on void binding, it doesn't matter that he cleanses it. We get it for the whole run, and then we can apply a lot of damage shield very quickly. So uh, we'll probably go monstrous if we can. And then we need an Ember Drain Enabler. Token is kind of interesting. Enemies getting minus one is not as relevant. I think we'll take Token. Token's not actually that great, but it's okay. We'll take Monstrous. And the goal is to have an Incant Floor and a Penumbra Floor. Spikes is fine. And it's it's almost literally just play Void Binding and win. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, we can get a Shade Splitter out. Give us some extra Ember. How are we doing? But, how are we doing now? But, how are we doing now? But how are we doing now? <laughs> okay, so very easy first ring. That's kind of expected. Um, we could get a mortal trait as well. But both of them, it's a little bit weird. But a mortal trait's really, really good with Penumbra, and it's a zero cost uh, Ember Drain. I think we take it. I'm not going to take any of this. We're definitely going to go right path. We want an Incanter. Okay, there's an Incanter. What we want is cave in, so we can put it behind Penumbra. We want minus one on uh, Void Binding. It's very true. We could just we could just go all in on uh, especially if we can multi or if we can double stack it. Then we're even better. The nice thing about Void Binding, though, is that it also gives the Rage. And that's part of what makes it uh, work. Reroll. I mean, now this isn't bad. This is an auto, auto kill everything. And we could just yeet the deck. We eat the whole deck, and this is our deck. <laughs> uh, this is fine. So what's interesting is uh, as long as we can play three spells, we kill everything on the top floor. We can play three spells. Boom. Boom. Um, you might have to be sacrificed for the good of the... Uh, for the good of the fight here. Sorry about that. You sack a siren. For the good of the realm, you could say. Um, this is also pretty important. Then we can play you. And we just need lifesteal. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Boom, boom, we win the fight. Congratulations to us. We don't need a second one. It's too well. I mean, why not fill our deck with zero cost Ember Drain spells? Like, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt. I don't want to take Energy Siphon. I think we just fill our deck with zero cost spells and uh, yeet all the other spells. Uh, we dupe the zero cost Void Binding. And we just go all in on this. We'll take a Gift of Gratitude. We play it once, it's gone. We don't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, yeah, this is the this is the current trajectory, 
It will work certainly up until Seraph. The question is, how do we get enough damage post Seraph? And this is what I'm not so sure about yet. We may need to get a second Incanter to go with the Nameless Siren. Um, so we're going to go... You know, you. Play this. Play this. Play this. How are you not dying? Oh, we have a tiny bit of health left. Okay. Um. Please. When we're gonna block with it if it's uh yeah, we have to just jump block with it. Take five fire damage so far. Uh we have double void bindings, so I think we can go void binding, void binding. Between the two floors. Like this. Put a train steward. The train steward does not matter. In fact, we don't have thick pyre damage here. I actually think we block the hit and do this. This is a very good zero cost uh, spell turn. You still have lots of... Uh... No, we gotta play this. We gotta play this in preparation for our later fight. We got him down to one hit. We should kill maybe one unit here. Oh, you're dying. Oh, that's a problem. I guess it's not really a problem, as long as we can kill Talos here. How about now? It's a little bit of a problem. We have a little bit of a problem. Um, we can make sure this guy doesn't do any damage. Playing another spell here does not do anything. We just play this. Uh, okay. Train Steward, Immortal Trade, Forgone Power, and we need Forgons. Thank you. We made it. <laughs> Uh, skip. I mean, Lodestone's really good. The problem is we can't fit it. We take more draw. Oh, do we have do we have garbage fell? We don't have garbage fell. Okay, that was making me nervous. Um. I'm going to go right path here, surprisingly. We're going to remove two train stewards. We just got to get to our Ember Drain spells faster. That's really the reason. Merchant cost being cheaper is also very good. We go extra monstrous. And we have to remember to take capacity at the end. That's mandatory. We have to take capacity at the end. Uh, Spikes is fine. What's his base damage? Is it 80? I think it's more than 80, right? It is, it's only 80. Okay then, uh, we'll play you here. And I'm just gonna play Gift of Gratitude outright, right now, get rid of it. We'll wait to see what we do with this uh, Nameless Siren. Okay, we got rid of some of the damage. Absolutely fine. Give you even more. Uh, gotta try to hit, we got it, we hit the backliner. Fantastic. Kill you, please. We just need void bindings. We gotta hit the back liner. Wrong back liner. 
We're going to take some Pyre damage here. But we are going <laughs> to reduce it quite a bit. We'll take, uh, it looks like 30 damage here. Welp. And depending on what we end up with here. Yeah, we're going to take, uh, not 30 damage, but close to that. Wow. That was, uh, very scary. But we are going to win the fight. Man, damage is just a problem. We just don't have enough damage. That helps a lot, actually. And skip. And unnamed tome is great. It's another zero cost spell we can use. Um, I'm actually going to go right path here. I'm going to remove more and I'm going to go for relics. Like, If we can get any kind of... Uh, X cost get plus three. That means that now these actually give us value. We are living on the edge. Light gift is also okay, but I'm gonna reroll for something better. Frozen cards go to zero. So we could actually potentially freeze some of our cards, like put permafrost on a helical crystallis, and then it would be okay to play. But yeah, we're, we're definitely on the edge here. Um, we cannot take the trial. That's an auto death. And we're gonna play like this. We're gonna give you. You're gonna have all the life steal. You're gonna have all the damage shield. We gotta get you enough damage that we kill everything. We did have jack strips. That's very true. This is probably a mistake. But I'm going to uh, own the mistake. And uh, we're going to still try to make it work. Luckily, the backliners are dying. And you are going to get enough damage to kill this guy. Same with the next guy. Okay. Keep. Keep on keeping on. Keep this going. You're fine. Uh, this is going to hit the backliner anyway. Just keep growing. We got to get to a lot of damage in a very short time, or this guy's going to kill us. Unnamed Tome. He, we have to kill him in uh, one Pyre hit to, to survive. I think you have enough lifesteal that we're going to be fine. We now have enough damage to kill you. Which means we have enough damage to kill you too. That's amazing. Wow. Holy cow. Get freaking wrecked. Oh. <laughs> oh, furnace tap. Furnace tap, guys. Guardian stone. <laughs> and suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> we have a build up here. Um, so we have to get, oh yeah, permafrost makes things free. Permafrost on uh, furnace tap. And we're gonna reroll for double stack. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, try to get you to be free. <laughs> uh, it's almost always gonna be Stygian Guard. And I'm not even gonna take it. I don't think it's as good. Double multi-strike. <sighs> okay. In one ring. And honestly, like... Oh, no, we, we can save it. We can hold it. Uh, Get dazed for... Oh, wait. We can't play you there. Play you on the bottom. It's fine. We're going to get uh, life still on him anyway. Um, although now he wants damage shield. And these guys want life steal. 
We're gonna play you, then you. And play this. Play this. Uh, we'll just hold it for now. Okay. Whoops. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. So we play this guy out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play this. Okay. There we go. Oh, I could have I could have saved the other one. You're right. It, it's permafrosted. I totally forgot. Uh, just gotta grow them as much as we can. They are kind of back up, but to be honest, they're not really critical to this operation at this point. Um, cool. Very good. Very very good. <laughs> Look at this forgon power. Three cost foregone power. Well. Cool. And just give you more void bindings. And I think we're killing right here. With a mortal trade, we kill. Boom. Get wrecked. Oh my gosh. Despite a really stupid moment, we actually ended up doing very, very well. Another Furnace Tap? That can't be right. No, no, no. We duped the one we have. We wanted to have exactly what we have. We have to take capacity so we can fit our big fat Penumbra. And uh, we dupe. We dupe here. We dupe here. Get thick, friend. <laughs> we haven't invested any money in you anyway, so why not make her thick? All right, here we go. Although, the Architect is reasonable. We could have taken Architect and then uh, played all three of them on the same if we hadn't have done the uh, big fat Siren first, but that's fine. No, we can always play uh, Penumbra on the top floor. Which is probably what we're going to do anyway. Spell shield does not matter. We don't do spend any spell damage. Okay, so. We'll go middle top. We are going to get garbage. We're going to get garbage. This will be our life for the next little while. So we just got to get used to it. Uh, we got to avoid as much as we can, though. So we're gonna go Unnamed Tome. We don't need to use Immortal Trade yet. That would be premature. Let's do this. Get another garbage. It's fine. Okay. Is this the moment? It's not the moment yet. I would like to give you Void Binding to kill this guy, though. So I think we do something like this. Into... Oh, we can't... We could go Multi-Strike on the Siren. I think we just do this. Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of damage here, uh, but it shouldn't be too. It shouldn't be so much that we die, but it is going to be very annoying. If we multi-strike here, 
I still don't think it's enough damage. If we multi strike here, we never have to worry about getting more garbage. How much damage are we doing to him? 47 puts him at 80. So we take 23 plus 5, 28. It's gonna it's gonna end up being a lot of damage. But that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I could have played two spells up top and then got the purifier, but it's fine. This the purifier doesn't create garbage in our deck anyway. Okay. And now we're honestly never taking we're gonna take pyre damage from garbage in our hand. That's that's gonna be it. And sometimes we get lucky and discard it. This was not that time. I thought if I said it out loud, maybe it would happen. Please, please get rid of one of them. Nope, nope. We have to survive two turns of uh, potentially getting hit with garbage here. Please, please. Just why? It didn't have to be this way. <laughs> so cave-in is excellent. Cave-in is exactly what we wanted. Because if you remember what I said was, if we can cave-in below, then we can put everybody on the same floor, and that would be really sick. We're gonna completely skip here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really, really good. Uh... We need cave to be zero cost, plus we need Pyre Health. I would love to be able to dupe the uh, Multi-Strike again, but it's unnecessary. So we minus one on cave -in. Hold over on... Is it? I think it's got to be on Void Binding now, uh, because we we can't... With Multi-Strike, you can't rely on Lifesteal. And then we re-roll, we minus one again on cave in and I think this is a double stack on a prismal dust all right what do we get gorge is garbage Gor garbage 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 okay yeah. yeah 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 we can make those work we can make those work uh Good job, Helco Crystallis. Yeah, if we uh, discard, we can play a card. We can play that uh, 35 by 2 Helco Crystallis for uh, the win. Okay. So it's very simple. You play this, you play this. Um, I mean, we don't need to worry about this. We just start. Uh, yeah, we play this now. We can play this now. We don't play the Foregone Power, though. We need Furnace Tap. Okay. Boom. 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 Pop. Really? That's fine. Okay, we just gotta get Cave in after we get... We need to get Caven after we get the uh, um, other dude. Cool. It's not, but it's more fun. It's about sending a message. Well, okay. We're going to Caven anyway. We'll always get it again later, so... Not to worry. Well, that was unlucky. Now we have to wait for the whole freaking deck. Also, we can never play this guy unless we discard. Uh, okay, do this, do this. Um, sure. Unlucky. We can always void binding the morsel if we're worried about getting hit. <laughs> um, what about caving in to the bottom? 190 by 3 is not enough damage. If it was enough damage, I would do it, but 
I guess I could bring these guys down for funsies. Also hit Seraph for quite a lot. Cool. Boom. Pop. Pop. And pop. Cool. I think we have 34 Ember Drain. Very proud of this 34 Ember Drain. This is the double stacked one. Cool. And we need Furnace Tap. We don't need Furnace Tap, guys. We were good without it. You were all very worried, but in the end, we actually didn't even need the second Furnace Tap. <laughs> cool. Back to one. <laughs> I haven't done a good Ember Drain package build in a long time. Yeah, that was living on the edge. We had seven pyre health and uh, a dream, but we made it. We'll do one more. I feel good coming off of that run. Hey, Shardtail Queen. Shardtail Queen. I feel like we've gotten a lot of Stygian. <laughs> but anyway, Shardtail Queen. And uh, I guess not. We had two Meltings. Then we had... Um, yeah, yeah, so we're, we're, we're good. Then we had the Penumbra and pretty decent variety here. I don't know what this music is, guys. It's like kind of Mega Man sounding music. I'm going to go to my standard album. Um, this is my intro music album. Uh, what are we doing? We got Daedalus with Damage Shield. Arcus with Daze and plus Spells. Seraph the Patient. Okay, so we gotta think about Patient. What's gonna be our way of dealing with Patient? It's gonna be... Silence would be obviously the, the preferred way. Second is Damage Shield. No, we can't get Damage Shield. Second is uh, Daze. And we have several Daze options that we can use. We can do uh, the Ascendant Daze. We can do Song of the si Siren Song. Song of the Siren? Siren Song. But yeah, Daze is going to be the way. Armor is really tough. And... Chump blockers could also work if we got Endless, but... What I really would like is... Uh, being able to play... Um, or having her have uh, both Imperade... The, the Imperial... Uh, Im so Imperialist and Imperade would be the good combination for us. Ash to the Fallen. Okay, so we win, I think. Imperialist. Crazy. Ash to the Fallen with an imp build that starts with two Welder Helpers. Um, it's definitely losable, but it is hard to lose. So what we need is just uh, at least two imps to kill everything. So we play you, you. And get hit. Yeah. Them's Them's the brakes, my friend. Them's the brakes? What the heck am I even saying? Um Those are there's something about brakes. What is the saying that uses brakes? Them's the Is it them's the brakes? That can't be right. That's that just sounds so. It sounds gross. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> them's the brakes. Is that really what the what it is? All right, we're gonna do uh, ice rando, and then uh, yeah, kill him on the bottom floor. We will take every imp that we see. Uh, I think Welder Helper is still just better. Because we don't need the AoE. Yeah, I took another Welder Helper. Why not? So what we need now is damage. 
So we're gonna we're gonna do a split build. We're gonna have none of these guys because they're all trash. Yeah, I just don't think we need it though. I think we want um, a siren, mm -hmm. and we want multi strike. You know, you always hope that you just say it and it happens, but uh, this time was not the case. Um, I don't think we need uh, HP yet. Let's wait so we can go for Multi-Strike, and ideally we get a tank for her. Uh, we'll go for, hopefully, a tank here. We just need something, and then another Siren of, the, a Siren of the Sea, or a uh, Guardian Stone, or something that we can put with a Nameless Siren. Um, because eventually we want to just stack uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but for now we're going to do this. For now we're going to play them together, uh, bop you, and play a spell. Okay. Any imp will do. This is a good imp. I uh, completely support that imp. Now I'm wondering if we just play... No, I think we just get more armor. Um, and hold. Cool. Ice tornado seems pretty good. And then just any imp will do. Sick. And that's it. Get wrecked. Okay, so now we need a tanky incanter. I will take a fortify because it's really good as an incant. Won't take any of this garbage. They're not good as incants. Lodestone was not exactly what I was thinking. It's not terrible, though. It's not terrible. I'll take it. And so now what we're going to do is make the... First, we need multi-strike. Endless is... Endless is good. Now we don't need to take... We would still take important work. We would still take important work. But uh, this is okay. We start like this. We aren't going to reroll. Monster rail spike on a train steward. And uh, yeah, so this is good. So we're going to hopefully not draw both the sap totem and the nameless siren at the same time. If we do, we prioritize nameless siren. Because she actually scales. Uh, but... Luckily, we don't have to choose. We play you, we play you, and we're good. Okay. Wow, what a what a turn. Just get all that and do that. Cool. Um, play you. Get out of my deck and play that. Okay. Play this. This is why we got fortify. Play this. Kill everything. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. Get you out of the deck and play you. Cool. We're not incanting very quickly. This is a this is a known fact. Um, play you up front to block one of the hits. Then we do twenty five damage to you, and double incant. Okay, so we're starting to scale a bit. The hope is that we can get enough. Uh, hmm. Forgone power twice does a lot of damage. But honestly, we don't need much to kill him. Like, two spells will kill him. Also, a Welder Hover. I forgot we had that anyway. Get wrecked, jerk. Bam. Okay. So, that was actually very, very solid. Uh, Spike is interesting. It's also quite good. It's just like a zero-cost spell. So 
So I'll take it. And skip. And draw. And we we will take imp parade. We will take imp we will take imp parade literally so that the imps cost zero. That's that's it. For no other reason. But that I really want the imps to cost zero. <laughs> Um, we can also reduce our uh, Ice Rados so that they're actually playable, because currently they are not so good. What would we hold over? Oh, Fortify. Fortify is a great hold over here. And we won't reroll. We'll save our money for unit upgrades over here. Imp Parade, please. Fantastic. Now there's zero cost. And again, she's just AoE. She's AoE, clearing the back line. And uh, now she can do that for free, which is really, really good. Okay, uh, this should be fine. Whew. Uh, she's gonna get super thick with armor. Hmm. It's a lot of damage right away. But we're gonna do it. Play you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that, and we have to get an imp. Yeah, okay, we got a welder helper. We got two welder helpers. Fantastic, welder helper, welder helper. Start this going, and we can play another imp as well, and we kill everything. Oh, you have one HP. <laughs> What a jerk. Just wouldn't die. Refused. And the only reason you would take uh, Imperialist 2 is to egg out a tiny bit more uh, HP and, 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 and AoE damage. And I think it's actually just fine if we go in Parade 2 to get Rage. Rage imps are going to be so much better for her scaling. And I think... I'm okay with scaling her a bit. Okay. Keep it rolling. Bop. Bop. Play, play. Cool. We just keep it rolling here. Uh, I mean, you could go up front. Why not? Take no damage. Cool. 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 And... Cool. We get a bottom floor kill with Imperialist. I mean, she has so much freaking armor. She does live for a while. Uh, sure. Don't need it. March of Shields, also great. Just another really easy in oh, and okay, Seraph is uh, Seraph is done. That's it, we win. Um, we'll be able to sap much faster than she can, or we'll be able to fap. <laughs> we will be able to sap much faster than Seraph will be able to incant and rally. Oh my gosh! Oh. oh. That was brutal. Ah, gotta drink some water, get my brain back into it, and let's jump into <laughs> uh, artifacts here. Um, we don't really frostbite. I guess this is okay. Incant armor is great for you, and we can afford a multi strike, but you know. Alright, let's jump into the fight here. I think we're okay, again. Um, as long as we get an early imp. The imps now have plus extra HP. Which unfortunately is not enough actually to kill this guy. But, uh... Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Well, that's a future problem. <laughs> For now. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Well, we can start with this. This helps a bit. 
We could swap the floors so that the rage units can't actually hit for that much. That's a possibility. Play you. Uh, okay. Boom. Boom. I guess we could uh, we could use. Um, The boss is not... Oh, no, we need to wait for the boss because he could end up with uh, extra stuff. The, box could, the boss could end up with a unit that uh, gives him extra um, damage. And it would be advisable to... Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? This is happening. I kind of think we have to go something like this, this, and then fortify so we can get enough damage that uh, we're looking okay everywhere else. Yeah, yeah, we play you down here to die. Cool. Uh, in the front, in the front though, um, it would do one damage. And that one damage made all the difference, clearly. Uh, we're gonna play Fortify. You're, you're not gonna do any damage to us, so... I don't know what you're hoping to achieve here, but let me tell you, it's not gonna be doing any damage. Excellent, okay. So now, we're just trying to get as much armor as possible. Silence on you does not do anything, um, so we'll just play it up here to incant. Uh, I mean, it's better to do some damage. Plus, we get two hits. And incant. Okay. Welder helper. Impling. Impling. Then. Fortify. March of shields. Get blasted. And play this again. And as long as we have like three spells, we're good. And we may we may even have already enough without playing anything, and that's actually the case. But because we like to really make the opponents feel bad, uh, we're gonna make sure we take no damage on uh, at least not on our lowstone totem. Cool. I mean, I'm really liking this combo. It's working quite well. Important work is very interesting. My only concern is that it leaves us a little bit vulnerable. <sighs> it leaves us a little bit vulnerable for... You know, consumables, we have these two, or these three. And I don't, I don't know that any of them are particularly worth bringing back. Although they would be two free incants. You take the Impish Scholar, but it'd only be one time. Oh, that's true. You could use it as a way to just scale the Impish, sorry, Impish Scholar and generate Ember out of him. I guess not bad. I like Preserve. Again, it's just a really easy incant. Um, we would really love Multi-Strike, but the game has just been... Very fickle about it so far. Um, we're we're gonna, we gotta go. Now you know what? Because there's so many good relics that we could get. I'm gonna go for this here. We do not need the implings in the deck. Hello, kill a penguin. Um, I think it's a reroll. That is amazing. Okay. Now we can uh, never have to worry about low stone. I'm doing... I mean, it's going really well so far. I would love to dupe lodestone now. I think that's like the finishing touch. You dupe lodestone and you profit. This is just incredible. Keep preserved for now. Okay, so we're not going to play any spells up there right now. 
At least not until like the very end. Important work to draw another one. March of Shields. Preserve the offering token. Silence! Uh, and we'll play a foregone power at the top. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so Rally's actually a problem. Rally is a problem. We can't play on the floor because Rally stops the action trigger. Uh, okay, so we play you guys at the bottom. To generate Hell's Banners. And then we have to go all incants all the time up top here. But I think we're going to be able to incant them to the point where they don't actually do any damage. And then we're fine. Okay, so we got to play both Welder Helpers. Plus you. Kills everything. Uh, yeah. Um, we can prevent all damage from you. If we play this first... That's 50. Uh, we would need so much damage to kill the frontliner. But at the same time, he's so much easier to get down to less damage. I think we go backline, frontline. We take three damage in the pyre. Acceptable. Boom. Boom. Are you incanting? No, you're uh, rally. Good. Okay. So we're going to start making you thick. Just keep getting all of this stacked onto... Oh, wow. It's fantastic. Oh, love it. Um, I think we hold Ice Tornado. I'm not certain that we can kill this floor. Okay, we get uh, apply spells. That's. I mean, I get it. I see. I see what it's trying to do here, but uh, not going to be a good time for you guys. I'm afraid. And you thought you would make it to the pyre, but uh, not in the cards for you today. Boom! Boom! Play this. Ice Trado and double foregons. Yeah, getting a second, uh, getting a second sap totem is going to be the way. That's going to be really, really big. So we can draw it again and play you, play you, play you, play you. Cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, I know she really doesn't do much damage at all. Let's play everything else. But I'm going to hold the Fortify. Because we need to get as much sap as possible this next turn. Okay, so we get Welder Helper up front into important work, which then triggers Hell's Banners. Oh, I should have played it in the middle. Dang it. Yeah, that was just bad. But we're, we're gonna kill, don't worry. We're gonna kill. We're gonna do every single time we sap. Okay, maybe not every single time we sap. How close are we getting? Crap. I think the one play here Cost us the cost us the win. Oh my gosh! Just needed to play a welder helper in the back. That was it. I'm gonna play everything the same, as close as I can remember everything the same, and we're just gonna swap that one thing. That's it. Everything else is gonna be exactly the same. That was like immediately after I played it, I realized I understood the problem. We're gonna... Oh yeah, your spells, that's why. Okay, I was like... Why am I not playing stuff? I'll play up here. Play this. And then... 
Just hold it. Just hold it. Okay, so now, play you. Play you. Play you. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Oh, the rally trigger! I totally spaced on the rally trigger. Maybe we'll be okay? And now the Endless Imp is in the wrong place. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, 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 it's not okay. We we played uh, the wrong uh, Welder Helper. That was the problem. We would redraw into it eventually, but the problem was is that we played the endless one. If we had played the other one, it would have been fine. But we can't play the uh, we can't play the endless one that way. Um. Play you. March. This. Preserve. Offering token. Okay. Boom. We did it again. We're just gonna play that though. We'll play this one down here. One, two, this. Into that. We survive one turn without. And then we can play both of these guys here. Uh. you. I think we did the same thing we did before. Takes one hit. Three damage to the pyre. And now we start pumping again. We just play the spells every time. I don't, I don't, I mean, I think... Play this. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we got him down to zero. He will hit us, though. A little bit. Okay. You know what we do? We do this. Right now. Yeah, I think that made a lot of sense. Okay. We can't sack it here, so we'll play these two out. But then we can go crazy with incants again. And I think we have enough armor now that we're fine. I think. The four damage seems like it's a little bit better. Um, what are you at? 61. This would put you at 65. Nailed it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think we're okay with one horn stone. We get two imps per turn. We just take more draw. 
so we can get more spells. But I'm not going to play the Rage Imps with our Rage Dudes. I'm just going to play them with uh, her. Or sorry, I'm just going to play them with her. Just so she can do a little bit of frontline damage, but it's not really the, the main reason. Um, we're going to go this way. We're going to remove two more Queen's Implings. And we will play dupe at the end to dupe our um, want to make this a little bit more playable. Uh, we could remove consume from it. Five cost is pretty reasonable if all of our other spells are cheap. And we just keep stacking it, stacking it, stacking it. We have a lot of draw. Uh, we're going to go Imperate 2. Because the 20 damage is enough to deal with all of the backliners. The 40 armor we're getting per turn should be enough to kill all of the other stuff as well. Um, I think this is okay. The Sap Totem plus like two spells. Her plus armor. You know what we do? We go you, you. Triple blast. And then play you with fortify. Okay. We're going to greed and play that. Just uh, in case you're wondering. That's what we're going to be doing. Uh, play you. Play this. Play this. Kill you. And play you to get us even more armor. And play this again to get as little damage as possible onto the pyre. We're going to take 3 plus 15, so 18 pyre damage. Um, we save this for the uh, boss. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. Just not quite at the damage numbers we need to be to be killing things consistently yet. We can block with imps though. Don't mind that. And get killed. Cool. Boom. One horns. Fortify you, do this, and yeah. Didn't need to do that. Basically worthless, but you know, it's fine. Uh, get blasted, get blasted, keep incanting. I don't think we have two more imps. Oh no, <laughs> funnily enough, we can actually go... Uh, I guess we... Oh, man. There's one horns. So what we do is we weld our helper, get it there. Oh, I could have done that. You're totally right. Could have marched forward. But it's still fine. We can have this Queen Zimpling block the hits like it's not a big deal. Just keep stacking armor on it. And, uh, yeah. Very cool. Two hits, and dead. Okay, on to the end. Um, 
I don't mind another important work. We just keep bringing back our dude. I do love a second unnamed tome so that we get it even faster. And then, yeah, double lodestone. Double lodestone's gonna be huge here to prevent any pyre damage. That's really it. Like, it, it's okay against... Well, actually, it's pretty good against Seraph as well now because uh, we're getting rid of the... Um, do we start getting rid of Forgons? No, I think we just get rid of the two imps. We get two per turn. It's guaranteed two per turn. We're going to start with two per turn at the beginning. We want to get... Uh, U minus one. I want to check uh, for relics. We could get. Days would just be instant. We don't have to worry about that ever. That seems okay. And. We're going to reroll, get another minus one. You know, minus one holdover on Marcher Shields. That's just two really solid spells we get every turn. Or do we hold over important work? Important work means we get all the armor we ever need. I guess totally fine. We get rid of one foregone power. I think we have the deck. I think we have the build we need. What's interesting is that it's like not a typical Forgone power build deck. No, sorry. It's not a typical... Um, what am I even saying? It is not a typical uh, important work deck. Because normally you do important work in order to like generate value on your floor where you're going to kill the boss. But here we're just doing it to generate armor to make the queen unkillable by all the garbage that comes out. Uh, play you. And we can... Can we not... Are we just dead? Oh my gosh, you're living with one HP. Uh, wow. Okay, awkward. A little bit awkward. <laughs> Alright, uh... Well, this was a surprise. Play you. Play you. What can we do here? We're going to do this first just to see saved and uh yeah also incant a lot <laughs> okay we got him we're good oh i did the wrong one that's fine um we're gonna slow down our incants just... That was not what I wanted to do, actually. Also, play you. Fantastic. Okay, now we're good. Every, everything's awesome now, guys. Everything is good. Alright, important work. Into important work. And preserve. Armor, and play you. Okay. We're good now. But that was certainly special. But now we're there. We're uh, we're at the point now. We're gonna scale our sap so high onto Seraph that uh, I mean he's already not doing any damage. Um, but yeah, this is only the beginning. Also, this is kind of hilarious. But it's not actually optimal. We should start, uh, important, wording, important working the rage. Um, we need to import, uh, the fledgling imp so that we can actually get two better cards. So we're gonna start doing that now instead. Yeah. 
That's going to be the standard. We only need one imp to kill the floor. We need to start scaling here. And the only way we're going to do that is by using important work as a draw generator. Not as a uh, armor generator. She doesn't need more armor. She's good now. Boom. That's actually a valid point. The queen is super thick. We could do that. No, she, she is. She's going to eat up all the sap for sure. But it's very easy to get a lot of sap very quickly. Uh, so let's see. Go one. Boom. Boom. And how much damage are you doing? You're doing 1,700 damage. You are now killing Seraph. Congratulations. You have been promoted from uh, garbage clearer to boss killer. Oh. Sick. I mean, they had their purpose. Nothing ever got to the pyre that did a lot of damage. Now, if I was Gabriel, that would have been five incantotums, but... I don't have the stomach for such things. Alright. With that, we're going to end. Um, name of the day has been Dudes. You can also call me Nate, you can call me Nathan, but please never call me Nathaniel. Uh, we are one subscription away from doing a Never Give Up Challenge. So if we can get one subscription before Monday, we'd love to do a, love to start off Monday with a new, uh, Never Give Up Challenge. Um, and... The Gauss, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, tournament tomorrow, guys. Uh, it's gonna be earlier than my normal stream, so it starts at, uh, 12 p.m. noon Pacific Standard Time. And luckily, due to, uh, Daylight Savings Time, that means it's a little bit earlier for me. <laughs> Not quite so late as normal. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll be doing a mix of commentating and playing. So I'll be commentating on the first game, and then playing the second, and then depending on if I qualify for the future rounds, uh, I may jump in and out. Um, and then next week is DLC, and I have... Um, well, I'll, I'll talk about it more next week, but basically, I, uh, I, I took time off work. I had a whole bunch of saved up days because of coronavirus. It's difficult to take vacation days. Um, so I had a bunch of saved up days I had to use by end of March. So super convenient. The end of March happens to be when the DLC comes out. So I will be doing... I don't have a total amount. Minimum 24 hours within a couple of days. Uh, my plan is to do several four-hour streams. So like four hours, take a break. Four hours, take a break. Four hours, take a break. And do that for like three days. So uh, starting Thursday night uh, for me or Thursday morning for everybody else, if you're in the U.S. or wherever, you know, wherever the heck you are in the world, um, look forward to uh, at least 24 hours across two days, but potentially 36 hours across three days. We'll see if my stamina can manage. Um, but anyway, we're going to pump out a lot of DLC content very quickly. Very excited. And I have a very uh, also off stream content, some planned, some stuff planned. So. With that, again, thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you in the next stream.